prayer? Bah, what does someone in the city know of prayer? Surrounded by walls of stone and wood, polished and worked, until all trace of life has left it sterile and barren. This is not prayer to shut yourself off from the world, the small king of your own tiny domain. What joy is there in singing mindless tunes when compared to the ecstatic cry of the wolf or the rushing excitement of the summer stream? I know that there are people hidden by walls of stone who look out at my people and see only what is savage, what destroys and what kills, blind to the beauty in the flash of a predator's claw or the quiver of an animal's nostrils as a fresh scent lingers on the wind. I was born in the wild. The moss was my cradle and the stars all the beauty I needed. How could someone look at this red and beautiful world around us and fail to be moved by the divine hand that made it all? So you think it's strange to see an orc covered in furs and carrying blood-smeared sword who holds himself holy? Perhaps you are right, but let those who have pretty voices sing to the gods while those of us with strong arms and the joyous winds of change at our back step over the ever-crumbling corpses of their cities and fight for this world that the gods made us. And when the dark orc of death comes to me, as he comes for us all in time, I will look back on a life well led, and I will not fear to step into the darkness.